Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Right, we've got uh, a review of the M5 Yoke. This is the tier 9 on the uh, newer American line uh, that was featuring also loading heavy tanks. Um, and yeah, a few things about... Uh, about uh, well, a few things I noticed. Um, one, I mean, I didn't really get on with the line itself if I'm uh, totally honest I really didn't like the tier 7 tank I didn't enjoy the tier 8 tank um, so I didn't really have great expectations despite um, there being a lot said about it um, in the tier 9 tank um, however I was quite pleasantly surprised as this is uh, a pretty good fun tank to drive in what is rapidly becoming my favourite tier of the game to play in, which is tier 9. Um, you still get to mix it up with the tier 10 uh, tanks, as uh, as we do in this game, and uh, a few of the others that we're going to feature. Um, but you're still able to make a reasonable level of credits, um, and there are some very good tanks in there at tier 9, more than capable of holding their own. Um, and this uh, is, or was, uh, one of them. Um, I say was, because a lot of this footage was taken before, update 8.2 and I've noticed that the um, the heavies have certainly been um, messed around with quite a lot um, with that update uh, so uh, for me it's just, uh, they all just got a lot bouncier getting a lot more bounces than I ever got before and uh, I tend to have pretty good accuracy stats uh, and getting a lot of bounces in heavy tanks uh, uh, across tiers um, at the moment which I'm finding a bit annoying um, but uh, obviously Wargaming gaming wanted to change the meta up a bit and stop the uh, stop the instances of like five or six heavy tanks per team. Um, I don't think that will make it stop, um, but uh, that's what they've done. Um, so uh, yeah, there's a, a few a few changes going on, but very much uh, starting to enjoy tier nine. Uh, uh, and very much enjoyed this tank on this line. It was pretty much the uh, the only tank up to this point that I had enjoyed. So, um, how's it drive? Well, um, it's it's a pretty standard American heavy. If I'm, I'm perfectly honest. Uh, the only thing that's not standard about it is its gun. Um, you know, it's you drive it like another American heavy. It's not particularly fast. It's not slow. Uh, it doesn't have a good. Uh, good hull armor, so hull down is certainly the way that you want to play the tank. It has reasonable gun depression, but nothing spectacular. Um, the only thing that's, uh, that's obviously uh, very slightly different with this um, is uh, is the three gun, is the three shot auto loader on the gun. Um, however, we also have the T57 at tier 10 in the, uh, on the heavy tech tree that uh, has the same mechanic. So. Um, what is um, what is special about the tank? Um, from that point of view, not a lot. Uh, there's not there's there's really nothing that this tank does outstandingly well. That there aren't other tanks that could be it could be compared to, or, um, or or whose characteristics may even be better in uh, uh, on other uh, nations' tech trees. Um, however, as a general package, um, uh, it's it's a fun tank to drive. It's a it's a bit vanilla, really. It doesn't excel at anything, um, but it's uh, it's it uh, it it, uh, it will take bounces if you keep it hull down. Uh, it's got reasonable pen, but you will struggle at times if you're on a hull down target. Um, you um, can whack out a good 350 on alpha per shot. Um, and each shot taking about two and a half seconds to reload. Um, so you're going to be looking at well over 1,000 damage um, alpha for your whole clip if you do manage to get the, uh, the whole clip into a single target. Um, and then you've got about a 22 second reload uh, with double rations and everything running after that to get your three shells back. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, those are the general characteristics of the tank. Uh, I think I drove this tank for about, probably about 35, 40 battles, I think. Um, and uh, as a general proposition, I enjoyed driving the tank. Now, I haven't driven it since the uh, since the nerf, and I've not had a lot of fun with heavies since the heavy nerf of 8.2. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, I, I remember uh, enjoying this tank. I do remember not enjoying the line that it's on. Uh, and one thing I think when we review tanks or look at tanks as to whether or not we want to get them is, you know, how much fun is the line that it's on. 
um, and this one I have to say wasn't a great deal of fun until we hit this tank um, but yeah uh, I mean I pretty know I noticed that I was getting pretty consistently good damage in these games normally around the two and a half to three and a half thousand damage range in most games um, so uh, or, in, or certainly in good games, sorry. Um, so, yeah, you're certainly capable of doing the damage. I mean, that, those aren't bad damage numbers, even at tier 10. So, um, so you're certainly capable of doling out the damage. Um, one thing, I mean, I tend to go for a lot of track shots. Uh, if that is uh, something that suits your kind of play style, then I think you would probably do well in this tank. Um, obviously, if you can disable uh, a tank with a, with a track shot, get uh, the, the full clip into him, you're just going to be making life a little bit easier on yourself. Um, like all auto-loading mechanics, you do sometimes get the point where you've got a wait before you can get to your next target. You might have to relocate or move, wait for the target to come to you. You've got the one shell loaded. Um, so, you, you know, you do end up then forcing the reload by uh, by, uh, by throwing, the, throwing a shell out. Um, but that's just standard for dealing with auto-loading tanks. I think we all got a little bit spoiled by the auto-reloading mechanic that was introduced about uh, 18 months, two years ago. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good tank. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun driving it. Uh, there we go, this is what I mean. Track shot straight onto the E75 there, and that's going to allow me to put all three straight through the side of him. Thank you very much. Um, as you can see, I mean, in those circumstances, very easy to get the damage out. Um, we've got... Uh, um, Play style, yeah, you don't want to be, this isn't a super heavy, especially if you're going to be playing at 210s, you, you, you really don't want to be, you know, getting into face hugs uh, with with, uh, with heavier, bigger tanks in this. Um, the, the hull arm is not great. The turret is a little bit bouncy and a bit awkward, but um, all you've basically got to do to negate that is get a look at it from the side, and it's very easy to pen. Um, uh, head on, it can be a bit challenging to look at, especially in a hull down position. Um, but that's just certainly something that, but like all tanks that we talk about, learn its strengths and weaknesses and decide how best to play it. Um, I would suggest not necessarily right at the front pushing aggressively, plus you also want somewhere relatively safe to pull back to get your 22 second reload on. Um, but great in, uh, uh, great in a uh, sort of where the game has progressed and you're getting into more of a brawling type situation like this. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't be having quite as much fun with this 121B as I am here. Uh, I mean, that thing should be all over me. Um, I don't think the guy who's driving is particularly good. Um, but um, yeah, you, it's 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 a fun time. I did enjoy it. Um, I think the mechanic is interesting. Ultimately, I think this tank is going to be compared to a lot of, or, or these tanks are going to be compared to a lot of others that already exist in the game, T57 being an obvious example, uh, the Emil 1, Emil 2, and going up to the Cranbargain. So, um, did anything for the, from this tank yell out at me that there's some, it's somehow better than alternatives that exist elsewhere in the game? Not really. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not an enjoyable tank to drive. Uh, uh, it was the only tank so far on this line that I have enjoyed driving. Um, so, uh, it very much depends on uh, whether you want to get it. Um, in light of the recent um, nerfs in 8.2 for heavy tanks, uh, it may well be something that might uh, slip down slightly on your priority list. That's very much a decision for you. Um, but um, for me, it's fun tank to drive. It's, it's nothing particularly special, and it doesn't offer a mechanic or a particular skill that isn't available elsewhere in the game, and potentially even available elsewhere in the game uh, in a slightly better fashion. Uh, nonetheless, still a fun tank to drive. So we had a couple of games there. As you can see, I was averaging around uh, on a good game around 3k damage. Um, and uh, here we are, game number three. And uh, yeah, I was quite surprised by this actually. He came around the corner. Normally, you would expect that you would face a, another heavy tank coming at you if you took this sort of side route here on uh, on uh, on ruins. But uh, uh, I, I got around this corner completely unchallenged, which um, actually plays to the strength of this tank. That just allows me to farm in damage from the side. Um, 
uh, our friend here, uh, typical behaviour. Uh, sometimes people just uh, you could you could predict their movements. I got shots into him, so he's going to lose all of his hit points just trying to get one into me. As I drag him around the corner, and he gets pulled onto uh, another friendly tank. Um, so yeah, not particularly good play there from him. Uh, we managed to put all three into the Conway there as well. Um, so as you can see, I mean this is very much the mechanic. Other people are driving out, risking their hit point pulls getting into uh, to, to blasting trades. You always want to be leaving a back door, i found. Uh, get your three shells in if you can, uh, and then you want to be moving. Uh, you want to be moving, either taking cover, or you want to be getting into your next position for firing, uh, whilst you've got your 20 second reload on. Um, so we managed to clear up T30 there, as you can see, getting engaged from the rear. So I'm just simply going to come round here, get try and get myself in a position on this guy, and also use this rock as cover. Um, waiting for the reload to come on you do spend a time a while doing that but then you know you get the fun and games when the shells are finally available and especially towards the end of the game where it allows you to do things like this you can simply keep whacking in your shells one every two and a half seconds and thank you much we'll take this fellow out for kill number two um and I think uh, we've still got the one guy left and I don't think we get to him actually. So, um, I mean, overall impressions, yep, I enjoyed the tank. Is there anything particularly special about this one? No, uh, I've yet to play the tier 10 version uh, very heavily. Um, so I will be giving that uh, a look uh, in, in the coming weeks. Uh, how, having said that, with recent nerfs uh, in 8.2 to heavies, uh, driving heavies is not quite as much fun as it used to be. Um, but we'll have a look. But overall, I'd say this is a fun tank to drive. But I will warn you, some of the others on the line are not quite so good. So whether or not you want to go for it or, or not should depend on whether or not you enjoy heavy tanks, whether or not you can put up with the nerf that's occurred at the moment, um, and what else you've got going on. But certainly not a bad tank, but I don't think there's anything too special about it, personally. Um, okay, boys and girls, that concludes this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and as always, good hunting, and bye for now.